an option on the C3 is diesel hot water system and uh, it also has an optional uh, space heater um, added to that diesel hot water system if you want to want it. Uh, diesel uh, powered hot water is a popular option um, in terms of high-end campers because of their reliability. Uh, hot water is hot water in the end, doesn't really matter how you get there but you want it to be uh, reliable and simple to use and that's what the diesel system offers. So you flick the switch, turn it on, uh, 20 minutes later uh, the heat exchanger will have um, heated up enough to um, give you water hot enough for a shower. Um, it's hard pumped to the kitchen as well. Um, so uh, use it for washing up, um, you've got a head start if you want to boil the kettle and that kind of thing. It's also the added bonus of, the, of going for the option of the space heater. Uh, one system is doing two things, so you um, kill two birds with one stone there. Um, and again, like I said, it's a very rugged build, so when you take it out into the corrugated tracks and, and, and roads around Australia, you're in a remote location, you need your hot water, it's, it's reliable, so you know it's going to work with flick of a switch. Hence it's popular, it's expensive, it's much more expensive than uh, consi uh, equivalent gas options, uh, but that reliability factor is something that uh, people are willing to pay for. The other difference is uh, the water fitting that we have on the back here. So it's a neat little device, uh, that's the shower rose and flick mixer in combination. So you lift up the cover, attach the flick mixer, and once it's up to pressure, you have a nice strong water flow there and you can adjust your shower temperature. So as you can see, that's only been on five minutes and that's already that's already up to shower temperature. And actually it's a little bit too hot, so you needed a little bit of water, uh, cold water in there to put the shower temperature now. One of the differences in the way we set up the diesel hot water system is that the uh, sink is hard plumbed. It's not um, using a quick connect fitting like normally. It's uh, hot and cold water are uh, permanently attached. And the line just slides in and out with the kitchen. And we have a flick mixer with hot and cold uh, at the sink. So once the water's up to temperature, uh, it's been on for about 5-10 minutes at the moment. Uh, you can just uh, turn the water on at the uh, sink. I'm cold and it's just uh, heating up now so yeah it's uh, it's hot enough to use at the moment it'll get hotter it gets up to about 50 degrees an additional uh, option uh, added to the uh, hot water system option is the space heater and a space heater just works off the same uh, system which is a, a coolant based heat exchanger and it just has a fan and uh, the fan has uh, two speeds it's on the low speed at the moment so um, you can barely hear it, in fact you can't hear it. That background noise is actually in the next door uh, factory. And then you have the higher speed uh, fan, which I'll just turn that on now. Now that's the higher speed uh, fan and you can hear that one. But the lower speed fan, which is what you'd be running if you're having it on all night, uh, yeah you can't barely hear it. So, uh, and uh, the hot water system itself is up to temperature, so it is uh, actually switched off now. Um, so again, you have to be prepared to uh, listen to that start up again once that coolant temperature has dropped and it needs to reignite. So as far as the noise goes, that background noise that you're hearing now, that is the um, diesel hot water, uh, hot water system in um, startup mode, that's when it's the most noisy. Um, and what it does, it gets up to temperature and then it uh, shuts down and then as the temperature of the coolant drops to a certain temperature, usually 60 degrees, it turns itself back on again and you get this noise again. So it um, fluctuates between off and on um, and then you, you get that noise. Uh, it's not, not a problem when you're using it as a water system, but when you're using it as an internal space heater, you have to be aware that that noise uh, will be um, going off and on throughout the night if you leave the heater on all night.